A hip-hop star in love with his scars isn't anything new or unique. Kanye West and Jay-Z rap about their Lamborghinis all the time, and Drake and YG ride one through the streets of West Hollywood in their latest music video. But Ocean Frank, a longtime gearhead with a self-described obsession with cars, isn't like most hip-hop stars. His music is difficult to categorize, and there's not a single Lamborghini mentioned on either of his two new albums. BMW S6 Some people track the passage of time by recalling the jobs they held, the apartments they lived in, and the friends they hung out with over the course of the year. Ocean does all of that in his lyrics, although according to the song, for Ruta Free, he hasn't had to work a normal job since 2009. But more than anything, he uses cars to remember the past and reflect on how far he's come. On Ivy, the second track on Blunt, he reminisces about his childhood, which inevitably leads to a reference to the whip he was driving. We drive to Sits, we had the X6 back then, he recalls. Ocean's former bandmate from Odd Future is Sid the Kid which means he was around 21 at the time, and if the lyrics, safe in my rental like an armor truck back then, are any indication, he was still just renting the car. According to a 2013 New York Times profile, he'd be having vintage BMWs rebuilt to his custom specifications after only a few years and a massive debut studio album. He's no longer a child as he put it. Acura Legend Ocean would have been 10 years old in 1998, living with his mother in New Orleans, where they drove a third-generation Acura Legend, according to the lyrics. There's a chance Ocean is referring to another Acura model, calling it a legend. But we're going to assume he's being straightforward with the make and model. The real question is, which six discs were in the charger? Ocean once told GQ's Amy Wallace, an editor-at-large for this magazine, that his mother used to listen to Mariah Carey, Whitney Houston, Anita Baker, and Celine Dion in the car when he was growing up. So here are our best guesses for those six discs. Mariah Carey's number ones from 1998, Whitney Houston's My Love Is Your Love also from 1998, Celine Dion's Let's Talk About Love in 1997, Anita Baker's Rhythm of Love in 1994, there was a lot of love going on in the late 90s. Prince's 1984 classic Purple Rain, Ocean talked about being exposed to the beautiful ones of that album and assuming he went down the road. White Ferrari The white Ferrari, like the Acura Legend and the X6, is used to evoke memories from the past. The Ferrari, on the other hand, is a stand-in for something else. The dilated pupils and the white color of the car point to cocaine, you know, the highly addictive substance Ocean's mother warned him not to use during the voicemail track, Be Yourself Unblunt. But Ocean was 16 at the time. How was I supposed to know anything? He sings, implying that he wasn't driving a Ferrari at the time. According to an interview he gave with Passion of the Wise in 2011, the songs weave in details about driving on the highways in Texas, where he stayed with family as a teenager after Hurricane Katrina ravaged his hometown of New Orleans. Nostalgia Ultra Car Frank is also a big fan of BMW, having featured an orange car, the famous E30 M3, on the album cover of Nostalgia Ultra, and owning multiple Beamers. It's also worth noting the story behind that Frank Ocean album cover. The car in the photo was not his, and neither was the photograph. The photo was taken by Dreisbrug, a BMW enthusiast who was an active member of Bimmer Forums and also owned the car at the time, but has since sold it. Dreisbrug stated that Frank Ocean never contacted him about using the image as the cover of his mixtape and that he attempted to contact Frank himself, but it is unknown whether they communicated or not. Honda Ocean doesn't say what kind of Honda he's swerving in, so we'll use the process of elimination to figure this out. He's too stylish to be seen in a Civic or even a slightly more expensive Accord. There's nothing sexier than CRVs, HRVs, or any other sporty models with a hyphenate acronym in the name. So they're out, even the Honda minivan, because the lyric alludes to dying in a road accident. Our first guess is a motorcycle similar to the BMW model he wrote and fell off off if the dream sequence is any indication in a music video for Pyramids. This isn't the only song on Blunt that mentions dying in a car accident. 
There's also the essay he wrote for the album's accompanying zine, How Much of My Life Has Happened Inside a Car. I'm wondering what the chances are that I'll die in one. What Honda is he swerving in? If you go back further in Ocean's discography, you'll find Acura Integral, a song dedicated to his 1991 Acura Integra on his independent mixtape, Money Bro. Despite being marketed as an Acura, the Integra was built by Honda, so it fits the bill. Please subscribe to our channel.